Alex in Melbourne, Australia writes to me and he says, Paul, you have explained how DSD is difficult, if not impossible, to uh, modify the signal, its signal itself. We, can, we know, and as I've explained before, we can edit DSD. We can take chunks of it and move it over here, put it there, do all sorts of stuff like that, re-record over it. But once we have the tracks, modifying it in terms of level or volume, you, you can't do it, right? So, unless you convert it to another form, the other form being PCM or analog. That's really the only way that you can do it. Um, and you use DSD to strive to capture excellent recordings at octave records with great mic placement and a pure signal chain from mic to preamp to DSD capture, not needing to rely on any DSP to fix mistakes or aid in the production. Yes, I would say that describes our purest approach <laughs> to octave records. This is clearly great for capturing a band or any acoustic music and creating an accurate representation of what's been played live. However, and here comes the big but, as an audio engineer, one of my favorite aspects of music production is the role the studio plays in the shaping and creation of sounds. Okay? How does DSD fit into this? You've shown how it can be a very pure capture tool. And as I have said before, yes, the very best there is. But how can DSD be implemented in music genres that rely more heavily on studio production and signal processing, either analog or digital? What rules can be broken with DSD to create new forms of musical expression with the tools at hand? Well, um, in one sense, nothing. In one sense, we have to view DSD as the perfect capture tool. And it's important because PCM, which is eminently adjustable and run through DSP and all of that, is not the best capture tool, but it's a fine way to play back, to uh, do all sorts of processing. It's just not the best capture. And, you know, I get... I get a ton of flack about that because it doesn't fit into people's view of how all of this works. I've got everything from mathematicians telling me that this cannot be true, that DSD is actually PCM, well, sort of, and it, it isn't. A a anyway, it may come down, and, and I will be the first to raise my hand and tell you on these videos once we figure it all out. I just haven't had the time and the experience to, to really find the answer that I'm looking for of whether or not the, the capture perfection of DSD is more to do with the analog to digital converter itself as opposed to the format itself. It could well be that that's all that we're hearing. And if we figure that out or when we figure that out, I will be the first to tell you all about it. To me, at this point, it doesn't really matter because we're using state-of-the-art equipment. We're building our own. We're using what is out there that is available. And there is no question that DSD is currently the number one star perfect capture device. Okay, so let's just let that lay for a bit. Just take the hair in the back of your neck, rub it on down, and accept the fact that it doesn't match your worldview. And that's okay. This is, we're here to learn to, to share experiences with people, and that's what I'm doing with you. Okay, so a lot of our music at Octave Records is definitely processed. We, we just did a, uh, just a wonderful, uh, a wonderful group who the lead singer had to have this, I don't remember what it's called now. Was it a bullet microphone? Um, it, it's the, forgive me, I'm just a, a nerd engineer. I, I, I'm a trying to learn here. But it, it's the, the microphone they use for a harmonica. They put it up to a harmonica. And he's yelling into this thing. And it sounds like total crap. But it's the flavor that he wants for that. And so, yeah, we captured that perfectly. 
What we're going to try and do, and one of the ways that you can view this is any of this processing, any of this stuff, if you can figure out a way to do it live, as he did, I mean, there are flangers, there are uh, phasers, there are all kinds of things that can actually be done live and then perfectly captured on DSD. That's the best way to go about it, in, in my not-so-humble opinion. <laughs> okay, so otherwise, the secondary process, the mix, once we convert it to either analog or PCM, which is called DXD, you, you've probably heard. DXD is just a marketing term for 352 um, PCM. So I, I, I prefer not to call it DXD because it is no, it's just a higher sample rate than 176. So let's just call it what it is. It's PCM at 352 and we could do 7, 704, well, I don't know. You figure the math out, <laughs> whatever the next step is. Um, so one of those two formats is going to enable us to then go ahead and if we need to, do post-processing, which at Octave we're going to do as little as possible. For example, we would rather ride the slider by hand uh, and automate it a little bit as opposed to using a compressor. We would rather, uh, if we have to add EQ, we'd prefer to do it pre, to let's get it right in the first place and then do as little post as possible. So I, I hope that answered your question. That's, that's sort of the gist of the thing, okay? Whew, I know there's a lot of hairs raised up and people jumping up and down going, he is so full of it. <laughs> Yes, I am. So have at it. You know, you guys just go for it. All right. Take it easy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.